That's Davis, David Davis. Would need a break a throw back to take back control, and you might get it here. Because that on his sixth leg. is an 11 David dart Davies. leg. Absolutely brilliant. Conan Whitehead taps his hands in response, but he couldn't take it out. David Davis has done well to dig deep and turn this match around. Can he complete the comeback mission? Double four. Game shot. And he and does the in the David end. Davies. Last start, and it always hurts that little bit more. But Conan Whitehead can't do anything other than congratulate that fight back from David Davis, who looked like he'd lost it when he found himself 3-1 behind, but then reeled off a hat-trick of straight legs to get the victory there. Sparked by that 100 checkout for an 11-dart turnaround leg, 50% on the doubles, a pair of them, and a really good start to this evening's action, which will continue after the break with Paul Hogan taking on Chris Landman. Paul, you require Down nine. the local, the... Lads would have been sat with their fishing rods trying to reel him back. Oh, oh. they'll be throwing him back Chris in. require 86. Well, the crocodile rocks. And Landman looking to punish, looking to bite on the bullseye. Game oh, that first has leg. got Chris to Landman. hurt Paul Hogan. So, Paul, you require 112. In his opening match tonight, and he's going to get a go. A double 16. And Game that's shot. the and way match. to win it. Paul, Paul Hogan. Hogan. But he turned that around, losing first couple of legs in that one. He was really struggling on the doubles, leaving doubles, missing big numbers, busting his score. But he managed to gather himself and in the end produce a pretty decent performance. 93.63 the average, landing 50% of the doubles that he did get to and capping off an opening victory with 112 checkout. Now, don't go anywhere, because after the break, the other player to have won so far tonight, David Davis, is going to take on a debutant at the Super Series in the form of the former Premier League champion and three-time Lakeside World champion, Glenn Durant. The demeanor of Glenn all of a sudden is looking a lot more positive. The shoulders are starting to come back. The chest is starting to stick out. Taking some... Big inhales of oxygen, really inflating that chest. Leg, and that is a 14 dart breaker throw from Glenn Durant. David, you require 114. Just needs the one treble. Give himself the single to double option. It's tops. Give Glenn Durant his first defeat of the Game night. Shot. It's and a the fantastic match. finish David there Davies. from David Davies, who hung in and resisted the Glenn Durant challenge. David, you require 114. Just needs the one treble. Give himself the single to double option. It's tops. Give Glenn Durant his first defeat of the Game night. Shot. It's and a the fantastic match. finish David there Davies. from David Davies, who hung in and resisted the Glenn Durant challenge. Glenn Durant trying to turn it around from 2-0 down. Dogged performance, 2-14 darters, and some very encouraging signs from Glenn Durant within that match. Be interesting to see how his night progresses. For David Davies, it's 2 from 2. and He's at the top of the table on four points. Conan Whitehead coming up next, taking on Paul Hogan, who's also looking to make it two from two. He got his first Paulie 140 of the 41. game. It's going to be irrelevant, I feel sure, because it's five for double 18. He absolutely Game's loves it. And, and he absolutely loves that performance and win. And 11 data to seal it for a very happy Hogan, who averages 103.66 in a whopping whitewash of Whitehead. There are the stats, four out of six on the doubles. Whitehead... Only managed a couple of darts at double early in the game, but could barely find a treble in that match and could find himself in trouble in this tournament. Hogan winning both of his first two games, as had David Davis, Glenn Durant and Chris Landman looking for their first wins when they go head-to-head -head next. Really Chris bad leg in that match. Glenn knows that he can live with Landman's level. Not if he does stuff like this, though. Shot and on the he first leg, Chris Glenn Landman. Durant with a haymaker straight away. Glenn Durant hasn't had a dart double in the entire match. 97. There has been one that's played with quite flat flights. Never really squares them off, does he, Glenn Durant?
100. Glenn, you require 149. I think there are loads of people willing this to go in and not see Glenn Durant whitewash, but it looks like that that's the way it's going to go. Lamont started the game really well. 25. Durant hasn't recovered. Christian requires 16. And it is double eight game shot for a 4 nil success. Glenn Durant shakes the hand of Chris Lamont, who gets the victory. His first of the night. And gone down to Paul Hogan earlier this evening. Durant denied a single dart at the outer ring in the entire match because Lamb was so proficient on it. Four out of seven, including that superstar to the one five five, and he is off the mark in group B. David Davis and Paul Hogan, well, they're more than off the mark. They've won both of their matches so far, and they go head to head after the break. Four double sixteen. Twenty-seven. Well, the darting gods may have given him the David opportunity, but he wasn't able five. to take it. David Davies put himself a leg away from the match. Starting downstairs, up to the madhouse. Didn't attack it. Game shot. But he does find leg. it. One up, one in the double one rule, and David Davies takes the leg, leads the match three-two. Require forty-eight. There's the answer. A brief. Vacation from double 18 for Paul Hogan. Game shot on a sick leg. Paul Hogan. And he levels a match at three apiece. David require 36. Be heartbreaking for Hogan to lose a match on double 18. But that's Game what happens. And the match. David and David Davis. Davis is the master of last leg shootouts. He's won three of them tonight. He's won three matches tonight. He's had a perfect night so far, and he could maintain that. And he takes on Chris Landman in his closing match of the evening. There are the numbers. Not as high a standard from Davis as it was in his previous two encounters, but he got the job done effectively, bailed himself out with a maximum in that last leg and didn't look back from there. Hogan defeated for the first time. Conan Whitehead, the Series 1 champion, still looking for a first win tonight. Last time he was in Group B, he lost all four matches on a Thursday, looking to avoid that fate when he faces Chris Landman after this. Can he whack Landman around the head with it? Game shot. Double and the top match. he gets. Conan Whitehead. And he gets off with the points as well. A 4 2 win for Whitehead. His first points of the night. His first victory of Group B. And the same old thing won't be happening that happened last time because he defeats Chris Landman to go level on points. That's really important as well. Don't forget, Landman could have pulled clear. In third place, the top three going through in this group. Whitehead now all square. And if Glenn Durant can get a victory against Paul Hogan, then he will join the party as well. Stay tuned for that. It's coming next. Glenn, Durant you hurt himself 45. here. He's lost two darts at double, really. One in this visit. But he does get two at double 16. And that Sean was his thing. Leg, and Durant. maybe it still is his thing. And maybe it's a thing that turned his night around. The first time Glenn tonight with an opportunity 97. to win the match. It's treble 19. Oh, it was in and out. Can he sink it in? Oh, that's unfortunate. 37. It happened at the start and the end of the leg. 68. Start in the treble and out of it. And shot on a sick leg. Paul, Hogan Paul Hogan lands the cruel blow. Paulie require 18. Ops to split Paul Hogan. And Game the last shot. leg splits and the, the pair of them. Paul Hogan. An embrace between Hogan and Durant. The pair have history. Then Durant winning their most famous battle. It was Hogan who had heartbreak then. He shakes his head as he... Disappears off the stage, but he's actually quite happy once Glenn's out of the way. He's celebrating Paul Hogan, but Durant loses for the third time tonight. He will get one more go. It's as close as he's come, and hopefully he takes the positives of that. He faces Conan Whitehead in the last match of the night, but before that, Chris Landman will meet David Davis, who's looking for a full house.
Decided to stay there. A double 13. Oh, Game that is some flag. shot David from David Davis. And you can see that it's affected Chris Landman, who shook his head. Approach, was it? Twenty. But he will get another go. David Chris Davis lets it slip. 12. If he's going to win all of his games tonight, he might have to win them all in last leg deciders. Double three. No. Nine. Davis can get it done here. David, you require 20. We just said about going to number 10. Double 10. Game shot on us. It's in double 10. And the match. And it's David double Davies. delight for David Davis, who defeats Chris Landman 4-2, and in doing so, completes a perfect night in Group B at the Modus Super Series. Uh, an average of 97.85 for Chris Lambman, but it's Davis with the 88 that wins the match and goes through the card. Then there's one more match to come tonight. It features Glenn Durant looking for his first win. He faces Conan Whitehead, and if Glenn wins that match, he'll be tied with Landman and Whitehead, and in with a real chance of qualifying come tomorrow. Stay with us. Without a doubt, he's the sort of guy that if that was me on the stage right now, having the sort of experience that He's having the first person you want to speak to is Glenn because you know he'd pick you back up again. And 180. Get you thinking about the positive and the next step. But that's a good step forward for Glenn Durant. Conan White is literally throwing his entire body into some of these darts. This one might not be over. Glenn, you're 42. For Glenn Durant. He's had a couple of 14 darters tonight. Looking for another to check the score in between. Just a little sign of not feeling too comfortable. He'll feel Game better now. The third leg, Glenn Durant. He's home again. Double 16 found. Durant back in the match. Not a disastrous night for Durant. Yes, in terms of wins and points, it might feel like that, but just hark back 100. to the fact that the man who's you require won all of his games, Glenn Durant took to a last leg decider. That was David Davis. 58. Four Glenn, from you four. He'll be four defeats from four for Glenn Durant if he doesn't take this out. And he's not going to, so Whitehead will come back for tops. 57. Conan, you require 40. To take a 4-1 win, a first ever win against Glenn Durant. It's not the Glenn Durant he used to play. Game shot. Brother himself is aware Conan of that. Whitehead. It's a 4-1 success for Conan Whitehead, who takes a step himself towards Saturday, from where he feels very comfortable at the Super Series. Struggling through the pain barrier tonight, Whitehead, but he's put himself on four points in this group and in a provisional qualifying spot. Conan Whitehead defeating Glenn Durant. 4-1. Neither player really producing good stuff late in the evening here at the Super Series. He got a couple of victories, Whitehead. Durant on debut could not find enough to win despite some defiant displays throughout the night. Chris Landman picking up one win, Paul Hogan picking up three, and David Davis winning four from four in this group. He's top of the table and talking tonight's action are Matthew Edgar and Henry Deacon. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris Conan Whitehead, 4-1 victor in the last game of the evening session. For Conan, he'll feel like probably job done. That wasn't at his best at times, and as I say, he was having some issues with the shoulder, but to get a couple of victories on the board, he'll feel he's definitely in this group. Yeah, that's all it is. Get the points, give yourself an opportunity tomorrow. No one's really out of this ever at any point in a Group B. We've seen players before, zero points, still be able to turn it around and get themselves into position. So no one's ever really out of a Group B, but you want to get a couple of points on the board, give yourself that real opportunity. That's what Whitehead's done here. Well, let's have a look and see what's happened then this evening. These are the results on the 10 games that we have watched tonight. And it was a perfect night as far as David Davis was concerned. He won all four games here at the Super Series this evening. And he's the type of player that we've seen here a couple of times. Well, we've seen more than a few times now. He's becoming an ever-present here in this competition. And he's the type of player that you should underestimate very, very lightly because it, you know the quality that he's got now. He's proven it every single time he comes here. Today more than ever. 
today was a real good standout performance. It was a real good sort of step forward in the Super Series journey of David Davies. The timing, the quality, the darts under pressure, all top notch tonight from David Davies. And I've really enjoyed watching his story develop. The 114, that was huge, wasn't it? It really was. It was a big moment in terms of the story of the night. When those things come early in the night, it can really set the tone and change in terms of the whole pattern of play for the entire evening. And that really did set him up at the start. Meanwhile, for Paul Hogan, what would be your assessment of his evening? I think my assessment will probably be the same that his was, which you can easily clearly see from the body language, the head shaking, the erraticness of the night. But with flashes of brilliance and again, enough done to give himself real hope that he can get through to another Saturday night. And he just seems to always have these stories of Saturday night, the same as Robert Thornton. And so often they seem to be in the same week. And will it be Paul Hogan's turn to finally win on this stage? Well, we will find out. So, Davies and Hogan, the two standout performers on night one. This is the table as a whole. Conan White had also picking up a couple of wins from the evening. Chris Lamman picking up a solitary victory. Glenn Doe at bottom of the hill. But I suppose the big surprise really is Chris Lamman because he was the bookmaker's favourite for the week going into this group, but was second favourite to win the group, which is a bit of an odd complexity. But we were probably expected more from him tonight, didn't we? Well, Pilgrim was the favourite to win the week. Pilgrim was the favourite to win the group in Group A. It didn't happen. That's the story of this week so far. The bookies' favourites haven't quite materialised so far. And again, not the case here for Chris Landman. He's very good at that one steady pace, but he's in a group here of people that we talked about those wavering lines of performance. And he's just running to people when they've been hitting their peaks. Well, Matt, thank you for your company as ever. See you sharpish tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Another double session of darts. I've enjoyed every single bit of the last 13 hours of you, Matt. Right, we shall see you tomorrow from 1 o'clock here on the Super Series YouTube channel for the culmination of Group C. As far as Group B is concerned, well, it's a case of double D. David Davis with the W's.